See, bile salts, very important question for the university exam. Cholesterol um, give bile acids. Bile acids then, uh, when sodium or potassium, uh, when they become salts of that, you get bile salts. Now, bile acids are like cholic acid, etc. They on conjugation with uh, glycine or taurine, then they can give you glycocholate, taurocholate. Cholate is nothing but cholic acid. So, glycocholate or glycocholic acid is bile acid. It's conjugated bile acid. Now, when they become salts of sodium or potassium, you will get sodium glycocholate, potassium glycocholate or example of um, if you are taking taurocholate as the bile acid or adding sodium or potassium or making it as sodium or potassium salt, you will get sodium taurocholate or potassium taurocholate. So, bile salts are the, the ones which have the word sodium or potassium. Now, why are bile salts so important? Let's come to that. Okay. See, bile salts are more soluble in water and hence they are more functional. Now, um, these are going to help in, mainly you have to note this, digestion and absorption of fats. Okay, digestion and absorption of fats. In both of them, they are going to be very useful. How does it help in digestion? In digestion, it helps by emulsification and in absorption it helps by missile formation okay so liquid digestion you can say now emulsification what you see here this is a very important word in uh, bile salts chapter uh, whenever you're writing answer highlight emulsification bile salts are the most efficient biological emul emulsifying agents they are the most efficient biological emulsifying agents fine now coming to other things about bile salts they are called as biological detergents because obviously they work like soaps right they are doing emulsification and they are synthesized from cholesterol in the liver bile salts are made in the liver So, bile salts as they are manufactured from cholesterol, bile salts will have a steroid nucleus. Okay. What else you need to know? It helps in lipid digestion. Under digestion, let us look at how it works. Basically, it works as a biological <clears throat> detergent, a best emulsifying agent biologically. The lipids become smaller emulsified droplets. As they have become small emulsified droplets, they have got broken down. Right? That is digestion. Now, let us look at absorption. <clears throat> Role of bile salts in lipid absorption. Here, you will have to say they form mixed micelle. Okay? Absorption. Here, you will have to say mixed micelles are formed for absorption these micelles are smaller in size than lipid emulsion droplets so these micelles right inside what will they have and outside what will they have see inside there will be lipids okay all those triacylglycerols monoacylglycerols sorry monoacylglycerols fatty acids cholesterol phospholipids all these will be there in the center because these are hydro Phobic. See the bile salts are shown in blue and all these fa uh, fatty acids, monoacylglycerides, um, cholesterol, phospholipids are shown in the inside. They get absorbed into the intestinal uh, mucosal cell. <clears throat> there the fat lipid gets resynthesized. Okay. The lipids get resynthesized. Then they are packed into chylomicrons and they are they enter the lymphatic vessels. Okay. From lymphatic vessels, they enter blood. Uh, so, in this video, you saw how bile salts help in digestion and absorption of lipids. Correct? Some other things that you need to know are the enzymes that help in digestion of lipids. You have the pancreatic lipase, you have the cholesterol esterase, and you have the phospholipase. 
has mentioned these three also when you come here. Digestion of uh, lipids happens because of bile salts, emulsification. There are some enzymes here that you have to mention. Pancreatic lipase, which works on the triacylglycerides. It's going to break the triacylglycerides. Then you have the cholesterol esterase, which works on cholesterol esters. And then you have the phospholipases, which works on phospholipids. Fine. 